right there. I said he's generated, what? now he's charged up. Charged so up. you better get your flow, you better part up. He's shutting down everybody, what again? He doesn't care, cause you know that energy's about to rise in the air. Hey, everybody, I'm Danny. You better get your flow, you better and we are. And we are. You know, we got a special guest with us today, man, and we're going to be doing this live today. We decided to, you know, change it up a little bit. What's up? Thank you guys for having me. Oh, man. Excited about this whole interview, man. I really am. You're very talented. Thank you. And um, he's not only a singer, songwriter, professional recording artist, multi-instrumentalist, actor, and dancer. And we're going to get into all that. Wow. Okay? But first... What we want to do is uh, debut with his uh, hit song, uh, Poison Love. And it, it's actually in Spanish, too, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, exactly. Amor oh, Venenoso. Poison I, Love. Amor Venenoso. We did this, man. You know, I love Look that. at this. Venenoso, you know? But here we're going to have a, a little taste of him right now, and I hope you enjoy it. So take it away, Chris. Take it away, boy. Venenoso. I love that. I love that. Want me then, but you want me now. That's funny. And he didn't give up when you walked out so swiftly. So to turn the other way and called you out, my mistake. And I never really read between the lines, saw the signs. I don't believe you heard me right. Oh, and it really ain't adding up. Why you say you want me now? Had it been a month ago, maybe I would have thought twice. But what if we reverse the roles? Would you even waste your time? Forget it, I don't wanna know. Oh, 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 oh. I don't wanna poison love. I already had enough. Only got realized that you would have been the problem. Would have stayed away, so let's solve a problem. I don't wanna poison love. Oh, I don't wanna poison love. Any other way would you cut me out? My mistake. And it doesn't matter now what you have to say. And you know that I feel stupid for believing every little lie you had me dreaming I was yours. Can you please explain the reason I ain't got no time to play no games? I'm all good now. And I really ain't adding up. Why you say you want me now? Had it been a month ago, maybe I would have thought twice. But if we reverse the roles, would you even waste your time? Forget it, I don't want to know. Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to poison love, I already had enough If only I realized that you would have been the problem Would have stayed away, so it makes all a problem I don't want to poison love, oh I don't want to poison love You show up at my door, but we don't really talk anymore 
said that's not okay Yeah, you made the same mistakes And I told you once or twice That's alright, but you know that nobody's around You know I should've made it clear From the start, we're no longer And I'm done with the game I don't wanna poison love I already had enough I realized that you would have been the problem Would have stayed away So it's all a problem I don't want no poison love oh, oh. I don't want no poison love I don't want no poison love I already had enough Only I realized that you would have been the problem Would have stayed away So it's all a problem I don't want no poison love oh, oh. Thank you. I really enjoyed that. Uh, so, Poison Love, is, you did it in Spanish as well. Yellow, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't do my <laughs> mic. Sorry, sorry. Okay. No, I was going to say, um, that was like a, a, a top chart hit, wasn't it? Yeah, that was on the um, the m Music Daily Weekly Top 10, oh I think. Nice. Something like that. Yeah. Nice. So, it was really good. Oh, yeah. But I like the Venomoso. I don't know why. That just gets to me. Amore, Venomoso, you know? Yeah, it's like a I love very, it. yeah. I really love cool it. Song. I love it. Um, we'll talk more, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but let's just take a commercial break real quick. And we'll be right back with Chris Milo. Be right back, Christopher Milo. <laughs> oh, okay. Take it down, Bobby. <laughs> 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 They lock you up, they wanna trap you, put you inside with a lock, it's mental block Cause all you ever hear when it's a cop screaming lifeless Now all of a sudden we think it prices Putting that two there, be called crashing in crisis Now they hating how the way how they even look They try to lock us up, throw it down, try to play the fame Did you love me or did you just love the fame? I don't know See girl, do you love me or not? I wanna know it baby, please don't stop Do you love me girl? Oh, do you love me, girl? Is it me or is it the money or is it the fame? Talk about the ops, talk about the obsolete, talk about the anger, talk about what the streets, everyone around you, all they do is talk, repeat. That's what happens when you get the bullets in your seat. Uh, maybe you should try and get to C class. Take a second, really, just to see the moon. You show up at my door, but we don't really talk anymore. I said that's not okay Yeah, you made the same mistakes And I told you once or twice That's alright But you know when nobody's around You know I should've made it clear From the start We're no longer And I'm done with the game I don't wanna poison love I already had enough I realized that you would have been a problem Would have stayed away You still need to solve a problem I don't want to poison love oh, oh, oh. I don't want to poison love yeah. I don't want to poison love yeah. I don't want to poison love Poison Oh, and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. Okay, we're not taking cues that well here, but remember, this is our first live show from the stage, so give us a moment, okay? Um, <laughs> but anything, now, we're going to just find out a little bit about Chris. 
Uh, so where do you hail from, my darling? I'm from Comac, which is right smack middle in Long Island. Oh, okay, so cool. Okay. I'm close to everywhere. E all your life so far? Yeah. Oh, all my life. Oh, okay, cool. That's pretty cool. So you are also Cuban, Puerto Rican, Italian. That is so like such mm -hmm. great mix. That's a great mix right there. Thank now you. Now you've done it in Boricua. Latin. Boricua. Okay, you know what? So you've done Latin. Have you ever tried thinking about doing Italian? You know, I always I want to try songs from all like the love language, also like Portuguese. I like that, but like but Italian is like, you know, music and opera, all that stuff stems from like that, that type of music true. from Italian. I mean, like you got opera. Luciano there, you know. Exactly. You got Plac is Placido Domingo. Was he Italian? I don't remember. I think he was. Yes. I think he was. I'm okay. not even sure. Okay. So, what age did you really start to get into music? Well, I was about I want to say eight or nine, and <laughs> I started. <laughs> um, I started singing in front of my class in like fifth grade. Is that, is that how we are in fifth grade? Fifth I believe. Grade. <laughs> I, I think oh my so. God. And then um, basically my dad enrolled me into like a music school. You know how they have music schools everywhere. Uh, okay. So that's when I had my first like live gigs. That's when I was going, doing, uh, right. just singing songs and stuff live. So how many instruments do you play? Um, right now I play the bass, the guitar, piano, ukulele, and upright bass. Okay, but how about we run down a list of what you don't play? So <laughs> <that's> <laughs> okay, well that'll be a, that'll be a pretty long list. Because <laughs> we'll be list. here all night. <laughs> because exactly. he, just so you know, when we were here in the studio, he just went from the drums to the the bongo thingy He's and the guitar. Having fun. What do you want to say, man? When you're a musician, no, man, I'm just saying fun. he can play. He can Come play on, it girl. all. He's really good at that stuff. Come yeah. on, girl. I mean, I use my guitar like as a, a drum. You know what I mean? Uh, so I'm able to play like a snare right. and I okay. smack it. So that's how I do it. So what what was the first instrument that you picked up though? The first instrument was was bass yeah it, it was, was bass. bass and then uh any particular reason why or i think because I, I heard from someone or maybe my dad even told me but that there's uh, always a need for a bass player like you'll never uh, okay. be without a job if you're a bass good player. call dad <laughs> but at a necessity <laughs> yeah, sort of uh i learned how to play guitar because that's like uh when you play live gigs you need a you right. need a Accompany yourself in these type of things. So you got to tell me, who's the music influence in your family? Does, it, does your father sing or dance? Honestly, um, my I come from a family of athletes, so Get wrestlers and stuff like that. How how do you go from wrestling to music? Well, I wrestle too. So um, you did play this. sports. Okay, I how did. about how about I should have done my research more? <laughs> because I did not know athleticism was in the family too. Well, you can I, see it. No, I well I didn't know. Well, if you're a performer, uh, usually you're athletic. Well, th ah. Okay, so you know, anyway. it's a mental thing. It's a nice, like, it's a work ethic, I think. I don't think my family's athletic. I think it's like their work ethic is very, like, strong. So they're able to become, like, uh, okay. anything they want. So what, uh, at what, what did you play in high school? I did, actually, a little bit in high school, I did wrestling. But more so when I was, like, um, seven, oh and wow. six, seven, eight, I was doing wrestling. And he's and only 18. Right now I'm 18, <laughs> yes. Six, seven. He's done more in 18 years than I, well, I'm, uh, I'm much older. <laughs> so let's not go there. <laughs> let's not. So who are your music influences? Um, well, I get inspiration from, like, everything and absolutely everything. Like, if I were to see a uh, kid walking, I don't know, an old lady across the street, I feel. So. But uh, musically, okay. musically influences, I feel um, strongly that swayed in my music and how I play. All right. Ed Sheeran. Ooh, Obviously, okay. because I'm looping, that's a direct <laughs> correlation. How do you feel though when you, because as an artist, I can hear the beat and the rhythm inside my head. How do you project it when it uh, for it to come out? Um, I think it's like just playing a, a beat over and over again. So I'm at my house and I play like a beat maybe that I like that's in my head, right. and over like I don't know, it could be even be a couple days of just fixing it up taking stuff out, fixing it up, it becomes something because even this little loop here or my loops that I do, usually it, it stems from like a little beat that doesn't even sound like what it does right. now. Yeah, because it goes into your head and it tunes a little bit yeah. different. It's like it, 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 exactly. <laughs> so you're always thinking like, yo, can I switch it up? How can I switch it up? Which kind of way? And then the melody just hits, right? Exactly. Mm. It gets. I tune it, you know, over time. So that's how it usually Don't is. you love it when you're up on the stage and the crowd's just going crazy and you're like, yeah, yeah, I knew what I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You just yeah, heard that little loop. Yeah. Super rewarding yeah. because, you know, I, this is all I do. I, you know, I spend all my time in it, so yeah. And if he doesn't do that well, then he can always go into wrestling again. Yeah, I got yeah. that as a backup. You know, <laughs> I cannot picture this tall, dark, and handsome kid wrestling. It just drives me nuts. Okay, so who would you like to collaborate with going forward? I think, honestly, um, because I want to get into, like, 
the Latin type market. Imagine mm. Shakira. Imagine doing a collab Ooh, with Shakira. Oh my God, with her hips that don't lie. Mm-hmm. Right. I hear that. Shakira, Shakira. Okay, we are That'd not. Be pretty cool. Okay, but you pretty you have collaborated in sort with uh, someone right next to me. Yes, 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 yes. Um, we so did. <laughs> I just wanted to play a little clip. Of uh, Chris Milo and Angetic at uh, I don't I don't remember the brewery. What was the brewery called? I don't remember what it was called. Um, okay, I both I of you don't remember. Too. Okay, it's okay. It Shout right? it out I when mean. you're ready. But here it is. have you done that's like the most meaningful to you like which one did you do that you had the most fun with um well the one that's like that resonates with with me the most uh, is my first loop that i ever looped on a loop pedal which is um uh richie valens song Ooh. Uh, and the Bum- audience Bum- could Bum- shout Bum- it out what is it? we belong together thank you we, we belong together Ooh. richie valens it's I like mean, it resonates Ooh. with me all of you know <laughs> so that's <laughs> bringing the one. it back Ooh. yeah <laughs> But I know you also, okay. you've performed at the Suffolk Theater, Bitter End, Mar- Marriott Marquis, Ru- Roosevelt Hotel, My Father's Place. Yeah, You're yeah. opening, f- you o- have you opened or are you opening for Randy Jackson of Zebra? I opened for him, yes. You opened, opened for him. And you got the Blues Project, too, as well. Yeah, yeah. And I did open for them, but I'm going to open up for them again uh, later this year. Oh, okay. Also, um... Billy also Joe. the Lords, yeah. Billy right. Joe. Oh, okay, Billy Joe. Let's Richie oh. Kanata. Richie yeah, Richie yeah. Kanata. Yeah, yeah. okay. So um, with that said, um, we can go to um, another performance by Mr. Milo. And uh, we got a little surprise for you. Take it away. <laughs> been a year and I gotta get you out of my head Yeah, I've been trying, I've been crying over things that you said To your front door window I forgot you let go I spent my time holding on to what it used to be Taken back by all the pain and those memories Through old album photos Maybe I should let go And I hope that we could talk Cause you're on my mind now Remember that night when I went to see you all my thoughts on how I missed you I find myself dreaming and truly believing a lie oh, 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 I'm over believing and truly sticking with fine oh, 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 oh. Myself looking back and thinking what's right, what's wrong. I've been holding on to something that I used to be. Cause I was wrong about the memories. Oh, why you seen them so differently? To be honest, in the process, I was kind of confused. What was I doing? Kind of stupid to be thinking at all. Please don't ever call me up again. It's hard for me to believe a friend. So explain to me how I was in the wrong. With every mindless text you sent me. It didn't even matter how much you missed you I find myself dreaming and truly believing a lie oh, 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 oh. I'm over believing and truly sticking with fire I was wrong, holding on Maybe I was someone to let go, I was moving on Somehow wrong, I 
worry on a road that was faded Hope you stopped and maybe thought of everything there is to remember Cause maybe I, I learned a lot I love to think that you see things different Said, but you had fun with the memories. I wish you seen them so differently. Thank you. That was really cool. We'll get back to you. <laughs> we the live audience is loving this, but let me ask you something. <laughs> what's a normal, typical day for Christopher Mott? Like, what, what's like a typical day? A typical day is I get up around uh, like seven. I do a lot of like, um, from like seven to nine, I'm doing like a lot of like Spanish classes and stuff like that. I speak with people from Venezuela and Colombia. Okay. That. And then after that, um, I'm practicing the rest of the day. Sometimes I go to the gym. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, it's his wrestling thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. It's in the blood. <laughs> um, and then the rest of the day, I'm just figuring out different loops and stuff like that. Or after, if I'm, I have a show actually May 7th, I'm prepping for, um, so yeah, I'm just really just work also working on new material as well. Now, oh no, what what uh what like you got another like song in Italian or or Spanish? Or yeah, you know I'm always working on. Uh, mm. It's hard because my vocabulary to really make it in its own way. Mm. I, c I can't translate it perfectly, but I I my mom's friend and my mom they both speak Spanish and they help me like figure Bodica. out what is the best. <laughs> <laughs> and they Bodica. help me like. Uh, see what's the best translation sometimes for best uh, things. They help me out like that, too. Oh, so. okay, cool. What's I your biggest inspiration in the music? Like, mm -hmm. what makes you, like, say, yeah, you know, I, I hear something. Like, what, what, what was behind Poison Love? Like, I always wanted to ask you that. Like, what was, what was the meaning behind it? Well, was, the, was story, female, wasn't it? the story behind it is um, basically this girl in the beginning wants nothing to do with this guy, okay. right? And then the guy has a little bit of success. Right, and other girls all over him. So in the beginning, the first line is, "You didn't want me then, but now you want me." Mm. I'm saying, in the life experience, what made you decide to write that? I think we're just good at storyteller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so so wasn't anything behind it like a female that you liked, and then all of a sudden she didn't give you any time? Oh, or he's signing. No, that's you? that's he was signing. You can be honest, because a lot of things that I write, man, are my experiences. What happened with me? True. Right. When right. A, one of the biggest songs that's getting the hits right now and getting seen was a song about Let her. Let her know, yeah. So, so I understand when I heard Poison Love, I was kind of like, because, you know, we're both writers, so I'm like, damn. He's only, he's only 18. He's into wrestling and music. Understandable, <laughs> but that song Poison just, Love, when you hear it, yeah. you know what I mean? It, ha it sounded like there another meaning was in back of it. You yeah. might not say it, but I have, you can hear um, it as an artist. When mm. I'm writing, you know, I have those feelings that, you know, because I... Uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I was in school. I was in high school with That's all insane. these uh, different experiences That's and insane. stuff like that. It, I, I would say it's more based on how I f like m emotions. Maybe not on like a, mm. a, a a real story, but it's some some of it is how I how I felt when writing it too. Yeah, but I'm saying like, was it like a friend that you saw or something? Like it had to be an experience that hit you, poison. You just love. you just want him to say something. No, no, it, it it it's it's not it's not a real experience. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's not. That's okay, so it was just something that you were just doing, like, basic. But yeah. at the same time, you said high school. So you might have seen, like, certain things that you didn't even realize that you projected in Exactly, there. exactly. And those are, like, the mm. real, ex exactly what you just said. So and, that's, and, you know, I use those emotions of how I feel about those situations as well. Mm. Some of it in my own, but not exactly the story that I told. I just mm. ramped on, you know, and made, and made it that's something. Because mm. one thing I want to say, too, is we're both proud of you because we've seen you do an excellent you. job yes, over are. in the Suffolk Theater in Riverhead. Mm -hmm. I, a lot of people hit me up. They're like, yo, man, your boy was killing it over there, Richard Kanata. So congratulations on that. Tell me that experience, how it was to be up on the stage with them. That was great. I mean, like, the... 
that whole day started like at seven for me, like just prepping in my mind for the <laughs> show. Like I needed that time because if I was, if it was just an hour before, and I didn't get that meditation time, we're gonna call it meditation time, <laughs> right? I need like a full. He needed that zen. Because oh no! Don't tell me you're like one of them dudes that like my cousin's the same exact way. He be in the dressing room. And you can't go see him until 15 minutes before the show is done. I mean, before the show is on. He goes like this. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm just taking it all <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> not like in. that. Not like that Don't meditation. tell me. Don't tell me. But it's more of like just clearing my mind in the morning and stuff like that. And, you know, thinking about. Because I walk through the whole entire show before I actually go right. on. Mm -hmm. So it's not a surprise to me. And if I were to get, like, shooken up like that. Yeah. I, I wouldn't be so focused on the show. I would just be focused on catching up of what right. I missed. Now, you said sugar up. Have you ever been sugar up to hit that stage? Because uh, it seems like you're very comfortable. I know. You are. You are so comfortable on stage. I mean, I've done so many shows. No, but I'm saying like your first show. Mm. My first show. Okay, let me think. My first <laughs> show was I shook up. Because like I'll, give you, I'll give you some experience in my show. You're going <laughs> to laugh. Well, you know what it is? My first show, you kind of, I kind of went on autopilot. Maybe I wasn't even performing. I don't even know at that point. I don't remember. <laughs> but I was prepared just to go on autopilot. So right, I probably yeah. was on autopilot playing the show. That is kind of cool, though, you know? Yeah, because, you know, sometimes when they go, okay, blah, 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 to the stage. And all of a sudden you hit the stage, and the stage is a different animal. Yeah. That's it's going to say if you're a real performer or you're not a real performer. Right, right. So people are going to see it. Are you like that person behind the record? Yes, yeah, true. Or are you behind the record? Chris is like, you don't ready. know what you're doing. <laughs> like he's always ready. He's on autopilot. He's a wrestler. I'm gonna keep oh, yeah, throwing absolutely. that in. <laughs> you don't know. I, I've got that's absolutely. my ammo right now. I'm yeah, like, yeah, I enjoy it. I so enjoy you said, so you said autopilot. <laughs> yeah. So you don't yes. really remember. So it was like because you did so many shows. So basically, um, when you try to remember the first show, you're like, damn, I can't even remember it because I'm so comfortable now. Yeah. I wish I wasn't. Sometimes, like, if I get too caught up in the music aspect of it, I lose some of the performing, performing, like, more of a showman aspect. Mm -hmm. And that's when I sort of, like, forget yeah. about what it, like, the... And that happened a little bit because I was just so focused on getting the music right. I actually made a little bit of a mistake of not fully putting my heart into it. My heart was in it, but... Yeah, but I know you know what I mean? What do you, what do you f like... Like, um, elaborate a little bit more. My heart is in it because it's hard for people. Say I'm sitting here right, and I'm watching you perform, right? Mm -hmm. Most of the time, someone isn't going to catch that. But being an artist, you know when you mess up. <laughs> and then you look at the film and be like, oh, I don't like the way I look. <laughs> I don't like that. But everyone's like, yo, you did an amazing I know. job. That's all my videos. That's how I feel. It's not. I don't. F I always feel. I have like a. Um, I feel like a self. I have like a self-improving constantly. I don't want to say perfectionist because then then it's, you know. No, you should be a perfectionist because then you're showing your fans most of the time, like, hey, you know, I'm giving you the best I can. You know what I'm saying? So right. always remember that. Mm -hmm. You are a perfectionist. No matter what, even the next time you come on stage, you better be better than the time when you came True, over true. It. Right, so right. it's hard to feel satisfied with the show. You know what I mean? It's hard to feel like that was just what I wanted. Because it's really not. It's always something could have been different. But, um, you know, I always like. I feel bad because I know how that feels. <laughs> I always like. Well, you think you kill a performance and like, what, did you, what was that? <laughs> that was just, oh, that wasn't you. And you're like, what? Well, everybody can have a bad day. An off day. Okay. Never call it a bad day. Never call, call it, it an it off day. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've Didn't had. Make sure days. I don't have none of those. Oh, okay. <laughs> I try to keep it, though, at like uh, my off day. It's pretty much like try to be autopilot. Like if it's autopilot, right. then it's an off day because I wasn't even yeah. aware. Okay. So what do you mean? So you basically when you're doing the music, you're just sitting there, then all of a sudden you're just waiting, and then all of a sudden you look He's and just the set's ready to done. Go. So that's autopilot. He's just that has ready happened to go. before. <laughs> but like, <laughs> it, it also is I understand. too. I understand it also what too saying. is that's like the funny thing. if if you do the song so many times. And it's not a new song. It's just like you're just saying the words. Sometimes right, there's nothing yeah. behind it. Exactly. Know? So it's like, <laughs> and all of a sudden you look like, oh wow, I'm done my set. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I've seen that happen before. And I think it is important though to be focused in it because people are, you know, watching you and they want to see more than just, yeah, you know, that's true. just you saying it. So I try to keep myself One on it. One thing I want to tell you too, man, is you're still young, bro, and there's still a lot, a you're a baby. lot, a lot you're a baby. of growth. You're a baby. Right. So you don't, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people will put pressure on you, mm -hmm. and your mind will put pressure on you, but keep propelling for what you're doing. So just keep going higher up, yeah. and just keep giving yourself more goals, and you will accomplish what you want to accomplish. Right. Because right. you got something that a lot of these people that are now starting to do entertain. A lot of the, the people that are entertaining are leaving. 
like a retiring. Like basically yeah. their time period is leaving. This is your time period. Yep. So this is your growth time. Mm-hmm. This yes is your sure. generation. Right. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So what you one thing I wanted to say to you, that's why I wanted you on the show and I told her was you just got to let yourself grow with your music and you'll be fine because you know what you're doing. Yep. Right. Yes, thank expect. you. You know what Animal I'm saying? Style. Like watching yeah. you, I watch you and I seen. Oh, we're watching. And, and I watch you that. and I just seen you just keep leveling up, keep leveling, and keep going. Yeah. You're only 18, bro. Right. Thank you. You're acting you acting like a 50 year old. Shit, I am 50 year old <laughs> in this game. <laughs> I feel like, like an old head old. in this game. Okay, with that said, we'll uh, get to a commercial break. Commercial break. There we go, and we'll be right back. <laughs> They lock you up, they wanna trap you, put you inside with a lock, it's mental block Cause all you ever hear when it's a cop screaming lifeless Now all of a sudden we think it prices Putting that two there, be called crashing in crisis Now they hating how the way how they even look They try to lock us up, throw it down, try to play the fame Did you love me or did you just love the fame? I don't know See girl, do you love me or not? I wanna know it baby, please don't stop Do you love me girl? Oh, do you love me, girl? Is it me or is it the money or is it the fame? Talk about the house, talk about the obsolete, talk about the anger, talk about what the streets, everyone around you, all they do is talk, repeat. That's what happens when you get the bullets in your seat. Uh, maybe you should try and get to C class. Take a second, really, just to see the moon. You show up at my door, but we don't really talk anymore. I said that's not okay Yeah, you made the same mistakes And I told you once or twice That's alright But you know when nobody's around You know I should've made it clear From the start We're no longer And I'm done with the game I don't wanna poison love I already had enough I realized that you would have been a problem Would have stayed away, you still need to solve a problem I don't wanna poison love 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 Poison So that song we just heard was Poison Love, right? Yes. And it was number two on the indie charts, right? Mm-hmm. No, no, I'm sorry. Number one on the indie charts. Yeah. Say it again. <laughs> number one <laughs> on the Ooh. indie charts. <laughs> I love that. On New Music Weekly. Thank you for the audience live. We have Look audience participation tonight. This boy got a lot of people here today, mm-hmm. man. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're, we're all showing some love. But let's get back to you. Oh, well, thank you, sir. <sighs> I really appreciate that. Okay, so we're going to go into the dance portion because um, I understand he does a lot of dancing, okay? Like, you know, maybe you should, you know, let Listen, him. my father's a B-boy, yeah, so whatever. don't don't get me on that. Okay. I start well, breakdancing. We're not talking about your father right now. We're talking about him, okay? Shout out to Eddie Rock. Okay, bye, Eddie Rock. Okay, take <laughs> it easy. So um, let me know, okay, where did you start dancing that? Ooh, started dancing. Well, I started dancing when I was doing acting and, like, theater and stuff like acting that. Acting, too, in theater. Check that out. Wrestling, so acting. <laughs> so you were in the drama club and He's you were a jock? <laughs> <laughs> That's deadly. Oh, my God. He's like, mis- he's not trifector. Ooh. He's like, what he would, hexafector. Yeah, he's a Terminator. Like All right, let's yeah, he's get a back Terminator. to this. I'm telling you, man. Let's get back to this. You didn't know what we had here, did you? Yeah, sh- okay. Drama club and wrestler. Okay, so what started, <laughs> this is too funny. Um, what did, what started you into dancing? Like, but who did you who did you emulate? Like Fred Astaire? No, he wouldn't even know who Fred Astaire. Was. What do you? Know you no, I know Fred is there. I know Fred is there. He know he had. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a minute. He knows Fred Astaire, 
And you don't? Listen, I'm a B-boy. Remember that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so Fred Ast- I used to love Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, and mm. Betty, uh, Betty Grable, John Payne, all of them. I am really showing my age here. Okay, so um, have you any entered any dance competitions or anything like yes, that? Yes, I have with uh, my teacher who was also uh, a salsa uh, champion in salsa. Oh, wow. Um, and we, but we oh. do like the Latin style, so cha-cha, rumba, um, pasa doble. And what else is in wait, there? Samba? Wait, 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 wait. Now I gotta cut you <laughs> off. <laughs> Cause damn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what made you just say, "Yo, I'm just gonna dance"? Well, it started because mm-hmm. in theater, you know, you need to know certain choreographies for sure. auditions and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So then I was taking like jazz, tap, and things like that. Uh, but then I had a friend. Yeah, I was just taking jazz, somewhere. tap, and some something like that. <laughs> How old were you? <laughs> Back then, I had to be like <laughs> starting that at ten to like thirteen, and then thir- tw- I don't know exactly. Oh, somewhere and how'd you there. get wrestling? Yeah, how'd you get wrestling? You in started wanting to just be yeah, better with the feet school. or something like that. Re- like that was what? in high school. Wait, no, no, Re- no. Wrestling no, no. was. Be- I'm hold just saying right here. Hold on, hold on. Wrestling was before. Wrestling was before when I was eight, and it was after. Eight. He was eight in high school, so I did it twice. Eight, eight years old. I'm dropping the mic on that. Okay, one. you better drop the mic right now. Mm-hmm. So, um, we have. N- 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 you, Jesus. Know, uh, you know what you got him s- you know he's on a tailspin right now he's just like <laughs> trying I'm to thinking my name is energetic <laughs> oh my god <laughs> <laughs> and with that said um we're just gonna play a small clip of mr chris milo dancing and check it out <laughs> And it's me you need to show How deep is your love, is your love How deep is your love I really need to learn Cause we're living in a world of fools Breaking us down With the ocean and We're back. And he's giving you tips. Did you did you see that move? Did you see the way he was moving? Again? Okay. So some salsa. Oh, mm, just a little bit of salsa. I would have broke both of my legs <laughs> trying to do that move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's, you know, it, it is what it is, babe. But um, which which dancing do you love the most? Um, Well, my favorite style is like the ballroom Latin, but out of those dances, I think my favorite would be samba and salsa. I don't even two. know how to do the samba. I don't know any of those. That's dances. a word? Yeah, it is a word, but <laughs> I'm just... You're thinking salsa. You're thinking like, you know, no, with no, no, tacos. No. <laughs> it's not that type of salsa we're talking about. So you're talking about. Taco Bell? No, I'm just saying it's not that kind of salsa. Do you do Taco Bell? Nah, he really killed it on that. that Maybe was, we that can do a really session good. with you, me and him. You know, no, we can no, teach us no, a little bit no, of everything. No, no, no. One, you're going to get injured, and one of my legs is going to just break. <laughs> no. So how long did you study dance for? Well, uh, I was doing like a variety of dances when I was like starting at maybe 10. Oh. But I switched Only into 10. ballroom hmm. at 12 and doing all those till today. Oh no, I'm still God. doing them. So six years about. Okay, ballroom. so let's run this down, shall we? Go ahead. Okay, we got wrestling. Wrestling. <laughs> Keep going. We got musician. Musician. We got artist. Artist. Songwriter. Songwriter. Um, Juggler. Jug- <laughs> oh, now he's bringing juggling it. Uh, really? I could actually juggle, yeah. I'm not kidding. Is there anything this man cannot do? I want to ask him, but I think it sounds weird. <laughs> <laughs> he juggles? What, what do you juggle? You don't juggle fire. No, no, just the uh, simple, the juggling balls. That's, that's it. Okay. That's it. 
right. Socks or oranges, whatever in the house, to be honest with you. So you just get bored and just go. Yeah, well, I learned from my dad. He had the technique, and oh, I, I, devel- I developed it. Oh. I do I do one hand. So it's genetic. <laughs> it's the ge- yeah. Well, he didn't get the wrestling from him, that's for sure. He only no. got... No, 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 no. That's he, a lie. He started the wrestling. That's you know, a maybe lie. I. Th- okay, you know That's what? a lie. You know, I am not. Put I'm the big L up for you because that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe I should have interviewed, you know, maybe researched <laughs> Mr. Mark Milo more. Maybe you should have. Maybe no, I should have. No. All right, so anyway, let's get back. Okay, go ahead. Let's get back to serious. So, <laughs> do you feel like that helped you a lot actually being in like the drama club and then and doing all that? Like, even. In the school and everything like that. Well, in school I wasn't in um, acting, but I took I was in acting school in the city at like. Um, oh wow! What age? At what age I was doing that from fourteen to uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. But I definitely had other acting lessons. Um, having trouble remem- remembering the names. Oh, what school did you go to? Lee Strasberg, and Lee there's Strasberg. another one, right? Oh wow! Neighborhood Playhouse. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, I, I went to those that. too. I heard of that. Yes. I love audience participation, by the way. Thank you very much. I know it's up first. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, no, th- those are the two that I went to. The biggest uh, names that you guys would love to know. Have you done any really like any big dance performances or anything like that? Yeah, I had uh, a couple of big shows. Uh, just dancing, like dance showcases. Mm-hmm. I was doing that. I had one where I had light up shoes. Oh God! I came in on a hoverboard. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. What? <laughs> a hoverboard. It's a clip of that. I wanted wait, to see that. Why didn't you bring I, that clip in for crying out loud? What is wrong with you people? You saw that clip before? No, but We need the it hoverboard. Exists. It's out there somewhere. He was pre- on, no, you know what? He was a pretend- hoverboard? You came out and started dancing on a hoverboard? I was on a hoverboard. I oh, came right. out with light up shoes, and then we did the dance. Yeah. So he was pretending Iron to Man. be Iron Back Iron to the shoes. Future, you know? Back to the Future? You know, when he jumped on the hoverboard when he got back into 1955? Yeah. Okay. Well, so you know what? That was when it just back. came out. That was when the hoverboard just came out. So right? they were really like joking. the. That was like 1985, wasn't it? No. No, like the the segways. The the like, you know yes. what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Like the green or that's you probably get like all the colors and they're like. 2016. About. 2000, yeah. 2017. Exactly. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. So wrestling. Something you see in the movie doesn't mean it's out. We're doing really good here. <laughs> 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 we got yeah. Okay. So. Um. <laughs> Something you see in the movie doesn't mean it's out. Oh, God, this is just too much for me. This is too much information here. No, no, he's doing amazing. No, he is amazing. That's the whole thing. And we're finding out more as we're going along. <laughs> you know? Did you win any state, like, state champion, like, as a wrestler? Oh, no, no. I never got that far because music was took over at that point. I definitely got, like, medals in wrestling. Though. But that's yeah. what I'm talking about. Okay, let's not talk about wrestling, did you, you okay? You didn't go to the States? Do not take no, it back to wrestling. No, I didn't no, get no. that far. My hey, brothers listen, I and know. cousins did. My brothers okay. and cousins did, though. Brothers and cousins? I believe they were up there in the counties and stuff like How that. How many siblings do you have? I have one. Uh, I have I have so many cousins. Oh, Jesus. But a lot of them do wrestling. No, you got one brother, you said? Or? I got one brother, yeah. So okay. he's older? He's older. Yeah, he's, and he, the, he's he the, did the fighter. St- he did the state? Yeah, he's actually um, he's a fighter. He he did, like, uh, fighting and stuff like that. But he was a wrestler first. Like UFC kind of fighting? Or that type of fighting, exactly. Ooh, can't Don't mess with them. Yeah, no, definitely not. You can't mess Wrestling with them drama? No, no. He's probably going to not, not like that I say that because he's low-key when it comes to all that. Uh, stuff. Shout so him out, though. Mark Milo. Mark Milo, hello. Shout you out, Mark. We love you. <laughs> okay, with that said, um, what is your, um, like, where would you want to go more? Like, the dance? Are you going to do a lot of dancing from now on? or? Well, I want to see, like, how I can combine the two because... Okay. Uh, I'm doing like a lot of salsa type music now. Mm-hmm. I just I got this. I was sponsored by Korg uh, with a keyboard, and I'm adding like all different salsa things to it. So I'm seeing how I can incorporate both of them. <gasps> That'd be cool. Like get him on a performance, and then he like s- th- segue into some dancing and like you know jumping up and down and stuff like that, and then go back into singing. <sighs> I'm glad you're on our show. <laughs> Thank you. All I got to say this the wrestling thing. It's gonna be playing in my head all night. Okay. So, with that said, go ahead, drop okay. it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not dropping anything. <laughs> um, okay, we can go. We can go to commercial break, or we can do another song. A song? We could do a song. I know you want to do a song. We could do a song. We can do a song. Let's do a song. Let's do a song. <laughs> okay. So, um, this is a little bit of a not a surprise, but it's a little added extra. But um, oh, the song. The song. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's a cover, right? Yeah, it's a, c- it's a cover. And who sings the cover? 
Uh, the Beatles, a lot of people did this, but the Beatles were the first ones, yeah. Come together. So Come together. coming together is going to be Chris Milo and Energetic. Let's go. Oh, this yeah. is going to be fun. This is going to be so much fun to watch. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to set up a little loop, and then we'll be right to it. Yeah, I already told everybody just to come together. Let's come on. Come on, Chris, let's go. Pump it up. Pump it up, boy. Yeah. Uh. Mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Let them know. Let's go. Come together, come together, come together now. Come together, come together. 
together, come together now. Come together, come 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 together, come together now. Now, 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 you can feel this disease, so oh yeah. Tell him. Come on, Chris, tell him. Now I got to let her know Daddy ain't never gonna leave You know I want you girl For all eternity Now I got to That money, my money, my money That don't give me black and on Why do you tell me so you the niggas inside the door Tell me what you see we black Been outside and tip the thing guy, yeah I said he's generated, but now he's charged up I said you better get your flow, you better pour up He's shutting down everybody with a kin He doesn't care, cause he know that energy's about to rise in the air So it's just shake, shake it for the money Shake, shake, shake it for the money Shake, shake, shake it for the money If you're like me, you've tried a dozen of these bitter drinks that stay in your system for one hour, even though they promise you much more. Dino's Energy Drink, the light, crisp taste, so smooth and refreshing, loaded with vitamins and nutrients. Dino Energy Drink, imported from Italy, tastes fantastic and will give you the energy you need to get through your day. Dino's Energy Drink, let Italy show you what great taste is. You know, man, that felt so so good to do again, man. That was awesome. You know, it's crazy though, man. When I when when I take a look at it, man, you were in the cover of the Newsday Li Express music, man. Yeah. You and me were on the same. Like you were the cover, man. I had the article on there. So that was dope. Yeah, that was real cool. Yeah, man, that was real dope. Um, one thing too, I want to ask you, what's your what's your future look like right now in the music? You got any shows coming up? Yeah, I got a show at the Bayshore. Uh, brewery, um, okay. no, uh, South Shore, South Shore Brewery in Bayshore. I'm um, going okay. on at 5 p.m. and on the 11th, I got uh, May 11th. I'm doing the Refuge. Uh, that's in May Mayville. Well, you should also just check Melville. out his website. Melville. What's your Chris? 
Chris Milo. Official. Chris Milo official. That's right. Check it out. That's that's so everything's on the website and everything. Yep. Okay. On website, and that's uh, that's most of my social media. Is that Chris Milo official? I'm just. Right, cool. I still got. I still got the wrestling in my head. <laughs> I still got I the know. dancing in my head. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. But yeah, I still got that. So we can also find you on Instagram. Please let us know. Yeah, let us know the Instagram. Yeah, Instagram is uh, Chris Milo official. Facebook is Chris Milo official. Everything pretty much is Chris Milo official, <laughs> actually, now that I think about it. Which is uh, pretty convenient. <laughs> Say Chris Milo, Milo official, and that's it. You don't have to remember everything like somebody else. <laughs> but we won't name names. Yeah, I lose my passwords a lot. I know. He does. <laughs> he does. He does. He does. Shout out to Steve. Thank you so much. Yes, for always Mr. Khan. Thank you very much. Thank Steve. you to Mark shout for coming to and, and bringing Mark. this beautiful man with us. We really appreciate it. Yes, that. I got a shout out to my dad, you know, because he is uh, he's the one that... Uh, Pushed drives you me. Gotta give you a great man right here. Right here. What? Yeah, give you a sound man a shout out. Oh, too. Marvin. Marvin. Hey, Marvin, what you doing? Marvin <laughs> has done so much for me. It's not even. Can't even write it down. Cool. So we gotta just gotta give him a huge. Thing. And your mother. And, and my mother. Don't ever yeah. forget your mother. No, no, no. I'm never. Of course, my family. There, there you go. Don't ever forget the mom. Shout out to the whole family. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole family. And I just want to give a shout out to my boy Cake Life, man. Shout <laughs> him out. You already know. But that's great. Love, man. That's great. So we're really proud of you. We just wanted to let you know that. I mean, we don't think we're just like we have people on the show and we're not watching them. We're watching you all the time. Yeah, no, nah, he always brings everything. You I'm know, like, Ooh, so look we'll at this. this so is dope. when you become a really big star and everything, you know, don't forget forget us little people over here. Uh, but I know? keep trying to tell you, and man. And I get front row seats. Like I tell you, man, I'm gonna end the show like this. You know what you're doing. It's always a journey in music. Everybody has their own journey. You're 18. You can see a lot of experiences in this game. Yeah. Keep your head up, keep going, and keep moving. Because one door closes, another door opens. Always. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yep. And just keep doing what you're doing. You're an amazing artist. It, I'm actually very honored to have you on this show. Thank you so much. And it was dope rocking with you again. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't even lie. I got. I, I remember that that night that you guys did Heartless. That was like so awesome. It, it, you know what I love about you too is like with him with other people too. It's like sometimes two people that work together or whatever. We just love music, and man. You know, you you guys are so passionate about music that. Right. That's why it goes so well. It meshes so well. And I'm really, really happy that you came on the show. Yeah, man. Thank and you so, so much. And so everybody, Thank please, you guys for having please me. follow Chris Milo. He's you better follow him. Everybody from Energetic <laughs> 2021 on side Instagram, follow this man right here. Yeah, that's right. You heard? And we out. Bye, honey. On the DNA show. <laughs>